Hey, what's going on? Uh, well, I'm going to try to help you out a little bit with the uh, knights. Knights are very important. They are used for attacking. They are definitely used for attacking. Like for your barbs, you got to send them out for that. For the uh, dark forest, got to have your best one for that. Uh, if you're going to reinforce one of the members of the alliance, they are getting attacked. And they are saying, help me, help me. And you say, hey, I got 200,000 cavalry and troops I can send. And you send them out to help him out. But you didn't send a knight. Well, all your troop just died. You have to, have to send your best knight. Not your crappy level 60 or whatever. you got to send your best. Best. If you got a 250 uh, knight, you better send him because he's the smartest. You get it? If not, they die. So knights are very important. And uh, you say, well, I don't want to appoint him. I got nobody to help me out with that. It says on there that I got to have a friend. Well, I have no friends at all whatsoever. But I have knights. And I'll show you how to get those. So you go up here to the power bot button. <clears throat> Excuse my cold. I'll tell you. Who hasn't had that yet? Here's some of my knights in my first city. And as you see, I got a bunch of them. Well, let's say you need one more. You want to appoint a knight. Just hit the appoint a knight. And this little box pops up. Put your cursor in it. And you don't have to get fancy. You put a capital letter and some stupid you know, other letters, no numbers, no numbers, it doesn't take that, and just type that in, hit OK, it's going to take you back to this, you got to go to the uh, power bot once again, and there's the one I just added, <clears throat> if you want to add a com combat point to him, skill, you can, pop, all right, now, you got to have at least four, you got to have at least four, why? Because you have your foreman, your marshal, and guy for your lab, uh, your steward for resources, and they help make things work a little better. This guy at a 32 up here, the marshal, he fights better than if he was a 50. All right? Oh, yeah. It costs gold right here. Look at it. Costs him gold. You know, he, he's got to get paid. You don't pay him, he's a loser, right? He, he gets upset and, and all that crap. So anyway, um, I don't know where to go on this because there's so much to even do on here. It's ridiculous. It really is. Uh, you know, come through here and click. Come here and you come down to your next one. You got to click. The easiest, easiest way is to hit this, the Add Default Skills, and it automatically pop into there. I do a little different. Might get into that later, but I get into that a little bit different. Let's close this out. No, wait. Let's close this out. All right. And that's it. I'm on my first city. That's where most of my troops are is in my first city. I'm going to go back up here to the power bot. I'm going to go to search. And I'm going to change this 10 to a 20. I, I hate it that i got to change it all the time. And I'm going to hit the start search. And I'm going to search between a level 1 and level 4 dark forest. And just to show you, I'm just going to pick anything. And go, I quit switching. <clears throat> and there's a level three. Before you attack anything, make sure, like this wild here. Okay, look on there. That one is owned. He even has an alliance. You attack that, that alliance is going to come back and spank your little bottom pink. Anyway. Make sure when you go to a dark forest and you think, well, I'm going to go to level three, it says it is, you better look. 
You better put your cursor on and look. What if that changed over to an eight? And you sent your troops? They're dead, man. They're dead. So click on that. Hit attack. Pick out your troops. <clears throat> you know, you might not like the way I send my troops. And you may say, oh, but Dave, you don't have to do it that way. All you got to do is, well... That's true. I don't know why it's stuck 525. Why did I do that? I have no idea. And I always send some M&Ms because they're cheap. Come down here. You pick your biggest, baddest knight you have. Don't don't send out this guy because he's not going to be very smart. He hasn't got no experience. So he's got the best experience. You got your champ, and you say, oh, wow, okay. Well, see, my champ, I just started this 18 days ago, 17, I don't know, not even three weeks ago, so give me time here. And um, you click your champ, and you hit March. That's it. So, yeah, you need um, all your knights and stuff. How many you need? 16. Why? <clears throat> because your rally point kind of tells you how many you can have and, and use. On a uh, level 6, for instance, you can only send 6 groups out. So you got 6 uh, going out to raids, and all of a sudden you need to move uh, troops around, you need to move uh, supplies to another city, you're choked. You can't. Why? Because you've got six going out already. You should always have at least two open open spots. So you don't if you're at a six, don't don't do six, do do uh, four. That way you got two extras. Why do you need twelve knights underneath the four you have um, designated, you should have a total of 16, because if you get into 11, you can send more troops. 12, you can send even more. What's the benefits? Well, back to the 6 again. 6, okay, you can only send 6 arms at a time up to 60,000 troops. I know the, the uh, throne has a lot to do with that number going up, your champ going up. So this is just a guideline. So if you got clear up to level 9, which is easy to do, you know, it doesn't cost you anything, no cash, you can send out 9 groups at a time, up to 90,000 troops each. That's why when you try at a level 4 uh, rally, you're trying to send out a whole bunch of, and it doesn't, doesn't work because you did big enough so you get into a 12 you can send out 12 man how barbing you can do how much raids dude so you can really send out a whole lot of troops and 12 at a time so if you don't have 12 underneath the four knights you have designated you know you're gonna be all messed up <clears throat> So you've got to have the uh, proper knights after you have the foreman, the marshal, how do you say that? <laughs> the lab dude and the steward. you got to have these guys. They, they take one place, right? They take one spot up. Well, so now you got, let's move this up. So you got your four that are stationary. They don't. They just stay back and do things inside your city. All these guys, they do the running out from your rally. So if you've got all these here and you get up to an 11 rally or 12 rally, you don't have to worry about knights. But I don't want to do it now. Do it now. Why? If you wait and wait and wait to last minute, Look, I just added this guy. He's only got a combat of 51. These guys I started quite a while ago, and see, look at, they're going up. But 
you don't want to start this out at 51 with a brand new, you know, bunch of 51s when all these are like 150, 200, and stuff like that. You want smart guys. Oh, I know. It costs right here. Look, total salary. But tough. Tough. <clears throat> Get those stinking um, rallies. Rallies. <laughs> those raids going. See, these are all nines I got going. I've got nines going on here. So, uh, level nines I'm hitting as far as uh, the bar braids. Anyway, yeah, I know. <laughs> look, how, look at my army. Look how big it is. Anyway, um, I don't know what else to tell you, but get, get those knights going. If you have any questions, go down to the bottom. Find my email address. Email me. Put in the subject line KOC. That way I won't delete your butt out. If you have any questions, let me know. Hope this helps. If not, eh, you gave it a shot. Later.